Hey guys, my name is Ethan Discover. Welcome to a very important video. Do not skip this one. Uh, this is a little update video. It's a uh, 2.5 or 3.5. I forget what number the the, the actual episode was. Um, this is a very important update for those of you working with version 1.5.0 or higher. Um, if you skip this video and you don't use it, then the bot will not work. The series just will not work for you at all. Um, it's a little less prominent than Discord.py series. I actually did an intense video for the main series as well, but I thought I'd do one for the music one uh, just to keep people containerized in the playlist and to make it easier and everything. Uh, both the videos are up on the same day, so it's fine. Uh, we're on the launcher.py right now. We just need to go to our bot.py. It's not um, a particularly big change. I actually need to show the dashboard, don't I? Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you need to activate the intents on the dashboard. So if you come, I'm just going to go back to applications real quick. Uh, so if you come into, into your dashboard and you go into your bot, I'm going to go into the music series this time, and you go down to bot here, uh, you'll see this uh, privileged gateway intents thing. So this is a new thing from Discord. Um, essentially, intents are a different way of working with the caching and the API. I'm not actually sure of the, the back-end details, but those don't really matter. All you need to know is that if uh, from discord.py 1.5.0, uh, if you want to get, uh, say, member information, for example, you're going to need the server member's intent, so we can turn that on, for example. If you want presence information, you're going to need the presence intent, so we can turn that on and we can hit save changes. And now we have those intents enabled on our uh, on our bot. And what this will do is it will basically just subscribe us to this information. Uh, there are a few caveats to this, as you can see here. Note, once your bot reaches 100 or more services, require verification and whitelisting. So you do need to manually verify your bot uh, using AI once it hits more than 100 servers. Same with the members one. The other int uh, there are other in intents as well, but these ones just the privileged ones that this applies to. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I said if you're using Discord.py 1.5.0 or higher or greater, sorry, you should be using 1.5.0 or greater because 1.4.2 or 1.4.1 or any other version will stop working imminently. At the time of recording this video, it does work, but very soon it won't, um, so just use 1.5.0 upgrade, you can use the dash capital U flag on the pip install, activate these intents, come back to the code, and we already have Discord imported, so you pretty much just need to do something very simple, you need to actually activate these intents. So we just need to do Discord, oh sorry, intents uh, equals discord.intents.all. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to move these on different lines so it's more readable. Um, but that's all you really need to do. Uh, there are slightly other ways of doing it. So, for example, uh, in the Discord.py docs, for example, it uh, has intents equals Discord dot intents dot default, and then it has uh, intents dot members equals true. So this allows you to set a uh, custom intent. I think there m might be a none or something similar. I'm not actually too sure. Uh, we can set an empty set of intents and then you can manually just subscribe to the ones you want. There are quite a few. Uh, the Discord developer documentation has them all. However, I just recommend for ease, um, you just have, uh, you just subscribe to them all because you're probably going to need them anyway. Uh, especially if, this cog is going in another bot of yours. Um, so if you're adding this cog to say a multi-purpose bot, then you're gonna need, um, probably gonna need this. You probably don't need this for the music bot really. Um, although I'm not actually sure. I, I think the get member method is, is compromised if you don't have this. Sorry, I got a call from Discord and I had to decline it there. <laughs> what I was saying is that if, I, I, think, I think some methods like get member are compromised if you don't use uh, the privileged intents. So I would recommend just, I'd recommend just having them all on in all complete honesty, just to make things easier. But yeah, that's all you need to do. You can now continue with the rest of the series and everything will work fine. But yeah, you just need to do this now that Discord has made these changes. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about intents, then feel free to leave them down in the, in the comments below, sorry. Or uh, you can join a Discord server using the link in the description. While you're in the description, uh, I recommend that you check out my socials. So I've got my Twitter, my Facebook, and my library, and all sorts of other stuff down there for you to have a look at. So you can do that if you wish. 
Uh, but that'll do it for, for this video. If you liked it, inside hand, say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but a really cool thing if you did do. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time for whatever episode was next. I legitimately don't remember. I think we were, I think we were sorting out the music cog. I think we're actually getting into the music cog. Um, as you can see, I didn't actually uh, go back to a previous version of the code, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, I will see you for that.